progress yet. Take a look at this food and take a guess where it's from. Crunchy fish tacos, flavorful Malaysian ribs, real southern smoked barbecue. You probably wouldn't think it came from a sports bar across from Fenway Park, and unless you've eaten here recently, you'll certainly be surprised to find food like this at the Cask and Flagon. Our main location is right next to Fenway Park, so we're very much associated with the Red Sox. We're really much more than that. We have a full-service restaurant. We have handcrafted cocktails. We've got a great beer list and wine list. We're a sports bar. We're also a restaurant, so we have a lot to offer to a lot of people. Second-generation owner Dana Van Fleet has overseen the Cask and Flagon's evolution from a typical baseball bar to a first-class eatery. And since they added a second location in Marshfield, Mass., Chef Don Lee Liburd has raised the food game quite a bit. To use a baseball metaphor, the kitchen is covering all the bases. We are all scratch kitchen. We make everything in house. We have everything from barbecue to pasta dishes, grilled dishes, fresh seafood, over a hundred menu items. Some of the items are sports bar standards raised to Donnelly's very high standards. There are Asian chili chicken wings, a Fenway inspired pizza with sausage, peppers, and onions, and a half pound cheeseburger topped with pulled pork, caramelized onions, and maple Cajun bacon on a toasted pretzel bun. And then there are unexpected entrees like a fried fisherman's platter boasting day boat scallops and whole belly clams, and even a black Angus ribeye steak finished with herb butter. But perhaps the biggest surprise on the menu is the Cask and Flagon's fantastic barbecue. Well, we just purchased about $60,000 worth of smokers so that we can really take our barbecue to the next level. This piece of equipment is designed to let the right amount of smoke in, you know? Now, if you have too much smoke, is is definitely not a necessarily a good thing. Keeping it at the right temperature is also key when you're talking about good barbecue. This is the real deal. For something not quite so authentic, check out the Italian-Mexican fusion known as North End Nachos, made with fried pasta chips instead of tortillas. Now everyone has nachos. You know, they're great, there's nothing wrong with them, but we have the pasta chip, traditional bechamel sauce that we make. We have a sweet Italian sausage, black olives, hot cherry peppers, a little bit of tomato, and uh, fresh mozzarella cheese. It's like eating a good pasta dish, but you know, it's an appetizer style. And speaking of appetizers, the cast combo platter is a triple play of indulgence, featuring crispy Philly cheesesteak rolls, tender pulled pork sliders, and what many people consider to be the best buffalo dip in Boston. It's just one of those items that people tell me they crave, they have to come to the cask and flag and for. Everybody loves it. It's, it's a great, great buffalo chicken dip. Buffalo lovers can also go for a cast iron skillet full of buffalo chicken mac and cheese, but the lobster mac might be even better. Overloaded with sweet corn, diced tomato, sherry, cream, five cheeses, and plenty of lobster. Fresh lobster, you're gonna see big chunks. It's kind of like a lobster bisque taking that and making mac and cheese with. He might run the kitchen in one of Boston's busiest restaurants, but Chef Donnelly was actually raised in St. Thomas, so his famous fish tacos have an island twist. We have a fresh fry haddock, then you add the corn and black bean in there, and now you're starting to get the party rolling. And then we have our seasoned yellow rice and uh, fresh guacamole, and then we put fresh Granny Smith apples. The Granny Smith apples that we use, you're gonna get a little bit of acidity and then also add a different variety of crunch Coming from the Caribbean, fruit and fish works real good. I'll put these up against anybody. I have sold well over 10,000 and I've never had a single complaint on it. We're pretty sure there's never been a complaint about the six layer Oreo cookie pie with cake batter, ice cream, raspberry swirls, and chocolate fudge either. Because just like the World Series champion 2013 Red Sox, it's all about exceeding expectations. I love cooking, I love what I do, I love meeting new people. Definitely wouldn't change it for the world. And where I'm from, we say cooking is not just an art, but it's a culture. It's embedded in me to cook every day. It's been in the family for a long time. It's very important to us. And to see it succeed for many decades more to come would be fantastic.